Welcome to Code with Kurt. The channel brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about the autocomplete. And we're going to use that autocomplete on a field. And in this video, I pick state as the field I'm going to do the autocomplete. So how this works is you could type in a few letters like AL and it'll pull up a list where it can find the AL and then from there you can scroll use the arrow key up and down to pick which one you want for in this instance I'm going to pick Alabama so you can do this for to look up any state here just by start typing letters scroll down and pick it and if you're not familiar with the autocomplete it is a in the jQuery library here but I also intermixed it with bootstrap and I used an example I found on the web with this on the JS fiddle I, I searched this up and it uses a certain CSS file here which works very well in my example here I got to work really well in the Google app script so I'll give you a step-by-step -step process of how I put this together if you're new to this channel subscribe to catch my latest videos let's get started with this video here I am on my Google spreadsheet I got it called web app autocomplete up here I have fields of first name last name street city state zip and creation date and I in this example I'm using a form that populates this information into the sheet and I'm using state as my autocomplete field here so I got this sheet name called form data and I also have another sheet of states and this is where I'm taking the list of the states that I'm using for the autocomplete. So I got a list of all the 50 states here. And in this example I'm, I'm just going to be using the name here. I'm not going to use the abbreviation over here. Just to kind of show a better example of how the autocomplete works. Gives more letters to enter in to drill down a list. So next I'm going to move on to my app script which is under extensions. So the first thing I'm going to do is give this a name. Web app autocomplete. Hit rename. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy in my code GS. I have that copied in. Next, I'm going to create my HTML file and I'm going to call that autocomplete here. The same name as right here. And next, I'm going to copy in that code. Now I have that copied in. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another HTML file. I'm going to call that autocomplete style. and then I'm going to copy in my style sheet here so there I have that copied in I'm going to hit save so all three of my files are saved now now I'm going to go through the line of code so I'm going to start with my code GS file here so the first thing I got here is a function a do get this is a standard Google Apps Script function to get the HTML file rendered or get it started so here I have this called here and then I'm calling it as a template from file and autocomplete and what's going to do is it's going to open this HTML file up and open it up and evaluate it and render it up on the screen. So next I'm going to go to my autocomplete. So the first command is this my doc type is HTML, HTML tag and my header and then underneath that I have my three libraries here and the first one is just the standard jQuery library and then I got a jQuery UI library and then a bootstrap CSS library. And I got that all from the CDNJS uh, website that hosts these on a cloud. So they, uh, they hook directly to the cloud and you can pull this down. And I'll have a link in the description explaining where I got these. And I also have this code in the comment section below the video as well so you can see it there as well so the next thing I have is this include statement here of auto 
complete style. So this is a statement where you call a Google Apps Script function within your HTML. And that, I'm going to go back to over to the code, GS over here. Me calling it, creating this as a template lets me do that. So doing that include is I'm calling an include with the file name and then I'm rendering that and it's doing a create HTML output from file. So it's converting whatever I have in here to HTML to come inside this HTML. So I'm kind of like just including this code but kind of breaking it off. So I can easily go to my autocomplete style, take this style code here and move it take this tag out and move it here as well it'll work the same way but I kinda spread it separate it out so it's easier to read and keeps things a little more organized so I got the style sheet here and this goes through each way this kinda sets the field to work as it does in the example I showed and I got this information over again from this JS fiddle right here I searched this up I searched jQuery autocomplete bootstrap and this came up as an example in the search so I don't take credit for this this is what I found on Google here so all the credit goes to this and this example here with my video and this worked really well with the app script here so this is the example I used so I'll go back to my script so I just copied and paste whatever was right here into this file over here so that's where I got that so the next thing is my script tag which is my JavaScript code or jQuery code as well and I'm just gonna quickly go through that's where this tag ends and then I got my HTML with the, the header tag ending, the body tag opening up, up the div here, just uh, giving it some space. I start my form here, and then this is just kind of setting up my whole form with first name, last name, street, city, state, zip, email. And then I got my button down here with an action of add row on click. And then I also have an air field here, or display anything that airs out. So again, I got my email, zip, state, city, street, last name, first name, all in an input, you know, text with IDs of those names here. And then the form control is bootstrap here. And then these form rows, form group, all that is bootstrap classes here. And you can read further more into that with bootstrap as well but I, I'm gonna get more particular on the autocomplete of this video so up here I have this document ready which is a jQuery and this will fire when the HTML is done loaded on the screen and then next it, it runs the JavaScript so this is the first thing that will fire off when the screens open after the HTML is up which I have is get states and get states is down here in this function here so it calls this, it calls Google Script Run Successful Handler, which is an uh, app script uh, built into JavaScript here on these web apps that call app script functions. So it starts out by this and ends down here with the ending statement. And down here at the end is where you add the app script function you want to run. So we'll go here to get states back to my code GS. So down here, I got my get states down here, which again, I am um, doing the spreadsheet object here, and then I'm doing the, the sheet name of states. Then I'm getting the range of A2 to A51. If I go over my sheet here, that's right here, A2, which is Alabama, all the way down to A51, which is Wyoming. So I'm grabbing all my states, in that range there I'm getting the values which is going to put this into an array and then I'm returning that array and how this array it's a multi-dimensional array with one column so it'll be array 
zero with one column of zero in it each one down it's just not binding these all in one leveled array it's multi-dimensional so i'll go over my script and now i'm coming back and the array is coming back here i got a console log and this is kind of for debugging reasons this is not necessary but you can use this as in the browser to look and see how this array comes in. Uh, here I am setting up a new array for myself here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that multi-dimensional array and cut it down to a single level array. So here I'm doing the AR for each. I'm going through each row of this array. I am using item here. So each item that's coming through is the name of the state. And now I'm pushing this to this array here for just to do a single level. So each each row is coming in. So it'll be like Alabama, Alaska, Arizona. It's just building on one array. So now I have that. And then here I have my autocomplete is on state here. And I'm identifying that as an ID. I'm I am uh, activating that on the field using this is a jQuery statement of autocomplete. I'm giving it my source, which is this single level array. And then that's it. And that's the end of this. So this opens up. I have my state activated with all the states loaded in and it's just ready for me to key those. So then to continue on with this, and I'll explain this, I got the add row down here. So once I'm done, I hit the submit button, I add it up here, calls this function, and all this is just grabbing all the data from each field by the ID, each value. It's checking to make sure everything is populated. It's not equal to nothing for everything. If, if something isn't populated, it'll kick out down here and say, please enter all information and that's passed into the display air down here down here and if everything is populated we're gonna call this script and we're gonna run this add record here and we're passing all those values in here so we're gonna come back over here We're calling the add record. We're passing all those values right through here. And we're setting up our spreadsheet object here. We're using our form data name here. And I'll get rid of this test. This is just for example here. We're uh, initiating our sheet name of form data here. And then we're appending that row on to this sheet. So if I go over my sheet, I'm going back over to form data. I'm getting on this and a pen row means it's just going to find the next empty row here and add that data. So just keep building on to it one after one after one. So I was finished. I come back over here and once that's called here, then I'm going to blank out every field in that form to kind of get ready for the next time to submit. And then I'm going to put in my display error is record, record added. So just a, a message saying that the record was added. So that's just a short, ex short explanation of how this all comes together. So now I'll go here, I'll hit save here, but now next I'm gonna deploy this web app. So I'm gonna go up to deploy, new deployment. I'm gonna select my type up here, web app. And we hit first deployment, or first deploy there. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to do the web app and execute as myself here. And then I'm going to do only myself here. And these are other options too. You can do anybody that has a Google account or anybody. And this opens out to everybody out there. So. I'm going to do only myself. I'm going to hit deploy. Next, it's going to ask me to get authorization permission since I am updating a Google Sheet. Authorization access. I'm going to click that. I'm going to click my account. I'm going to click advanced. I'm going to click 
go to web app auto complete down below and in here I'm gonna allow it to edit create and delete my Google sheet spreadsheets I'm allow this web app to do that or app script so here I got my URL I'm gonna click on that it's gonna open it up next I'm gonna just do a quick check So I'll check my state here. There's my drop downs working. I can go all the way down to New York. There we go, I'm gonna hit submit. It says record added and I can go over to my Google Sheet and there is my record here with my state. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Again, I'll have the code in the comment section below the video, and I'll also have a lot of this documentation that I used to put this together. So, until next time.